Unraveling the Roots, Nicaragua's fascinating Afro-Nicaraguan legacy. Welcome back to Unraveling the Roots, our journey to spotlight the rich connections between Africa and the Americas. In this episode, we venture into the vibrant Afro-Nicaraguan heritage of Nicaragua, exploring its historical roots, cultural expressions, and the contributions of the Afro-Nicaraguan community. Let's kick off with music and dance. Afro-Nicaraguan music, deeply rooted in African traditions, encompasses a diverse range of styles and rhythms. One prominent example is Palo de Mayo, which originated from the Afro-Caribbean community along Nicaragua's Caribbean coast. This lively dance and music form is influenced by West African traditions, particularly the Congo region. With its energetic drumming, syncopated beats, and exuberant choreography, Palo de Mayo reflects the resilience and cultural pride of the Afro-Nicaraguan community. Moving on to fashion, Afro-Nicaraguan fashion embraces a blend of traditional African elements and contemporary trends, representing a fusion of heritage and modernity. The use of vibrant prints and patterns inspired by African textiles such as kente and ankara adds a distinct Afrocentric touch to clothing styles. Additionally, stylish head wraps and accessories pay homage to African cultural aesthetics, further celebrating individuality and cultural identity within the Afro-Nicaraguan community. Let's savor the cuisine. The Afro-Nicaraguan culinary tradition is a testament to the fusion of flavors and influences from Africa, indigenous cultures, and Spanish colonial heritage. Dishes like rondon, a hearty seafood soup with African roots, showcase the Afro-Nicaraguan community's unique contribution to Nicaragua's gastronomy. Influenced by West African cooking techniques, rondon typically includes ingredients like fish, plantains, cassava, and coconut milk creating a delicious blend of flavors that reflect the community's African heritage. Exploring religion. African spiritual traditions have profoundly influenced religious practices within the Afro-Nicaraguan community. Among the syncretic religious practices, Santeria and Palomante hold particular significance. Santeria, also known as Regla de Ocha, is a syncretic religion that blends Yoruba beliefs and practices with Catholicism. It originated in West Africa, and was brought to Nicaragua through the transatlantic slave trade. Palo Monte, on the other hand, originated from Central Africa and is characterized by its use of sacred objects, chants, and rituals to connect with ancestral spirits. These Afro-Nicaraguan religions serve as powerful symbols of cultural continuity and the resilience of African spirituality in the face of historical challenges. Let's delve into language. Afro-Nicaraguan dialects exhibit a vibrant blend of Spanish and African linguistic influences. African languages such as Yoruba and Kikongo have contributed numerous words and expressions, enriching the local vocabulary and adding a distinct Afrocentric touch to the Nicaraguan Spanish spoken in Afro-Nicaraguan communities. This linguistic fusion serves as a linguistic bridge connecting present-day Nicaragua with its African roots. Highlighting revolutionary figures, Nicaragua's history is adorned with Afro-Nicaraguan figures who played instrumental roles in the struggle for freedom and equality. Notable individuals like Andres Castro, a prominent Afro-Nicaraguan revolutionary leader, left an indelible mark on the nation's quest for independence and social justice. These revolutionary figures embody the spirit of resilience and determination within the Afro-Nicaraguan community, inspiring generations to fight for justice and equality. Exploring the Arts and Culture Afro-Nicaraguan art, literature, and folklore reflect the community's resilience, creative expression, and cultural heritage. Artists like Justo Santos and Otto de la Rocha have used their work to celebrate Afro-Nicaraguan history and challenge societal stereotypes. Through paintings, sculptures, and poetry, they have given voice to the Afro-Nicaraguan experience and contributed to the broader cultural landscape of Nicaragua. Lastly, pre-Columbian connections. While the transatlantic slave trade explains much of the African presence in Nicaragua, there are intriguing theories suggesting earlier connections. Scholars like Ivan Van Sertima in his book, They Came Before Columbus, proposed that Africans may have voyaged to the Americas before Christopher Columbus. These theories highlight the presence of ancient African civilizations and propose cultural exchanges between Africa and the Americas long before the arrival of European explorers. While further research is needed to corroborate these theories, they invite us to reimagine the depth and complexity of African contributions to the Americas. In this episode of Unraveling the Roots, we've delved into Nicaragua's Afro-Nicaraguan heritage, uncovering the profound cultural influences, 
traditions, and contributions of the Afro-Nicaraguan community. Their vibrant music, fashion, cuisine, religious practices, language revolutionary figures, and artistic expressions have shaped Nicaragua's cultural tapestry and continue to inspire generations. Thank you for joining us on this enriching adventure. Stay tuned for the next episode as we continue to explore the diverse and dynamic African diaspora.